gross and not fun. Anyways, today we're gonna wrap up Condé Petit. Condé? Condé Condé? Condoleezza Petit. Um, let me just check out my little notes here. So last time I missed some treasure here in Condé Petit because it was so late at night. But this is hopefully gonna be an easy section. There's a lot of plot stuff to go through, but lots of like easy battles. Easy battles, as I was saying. <sighs> so, not like a very intense area, and but a lot of plot to get through. So it could be wild, but it's not gonna be too involved. Magician cloak. I'm a vest. Uh, I heard this is good. See if I could talk to the other dwarf. You're no allowed to pass, laddie. I promised. I when I was writing up the highlight description, I promised I would not read these fine dwarf fellows and ladies and others with a stupid voice. I'll try very hard not to do that. Ooh, wasn't it weird how I just knew where that item was? <laughs> So, like I said, there's a couple items we missed. Apparently not there, though. Uh, is it up here? Yep. Ninety-nine couples have visited the sanctuary. Let me oop. I got a diamond. Isn't that wonderful? I guess you can only go up there. Move it. Uh, Helma Kinesher says, I compared your audio to the recording. Actually, that's the problem. I didn't like the audio last time. There's like a pervasive hissing noise. And I think it might have to do with like the positioning of the microphone. Like, I'm close to two walls, so sound is probably bouncing around a lot. I'm not a scientist, so I don't. Oh, I didn't want to stay the night. God damn it. I was pressing the button and I didn't. Stop to think how that could change things. Thank you, Margaret. Wow, 1800 yields. That's what I was looking for. Okay, that's all the items. Hi. You might move the mic just a little bit closer. Well, I will. Everybody has to hear my wonderful, beautiful voice. That's probably a little too loud, actually. That should do it. I'll try not to scream. I'll try my best not to scream. So if you'll recall last time, we saw a black mage who ran away from us very fast and we got some intel that there's a place in the forest where the black mages live, so we're gonna go there, but first <laughs> we're gonna go to Swamp. It's not gonna take very long, I wouldn't even split it off into its own video because it's not worth it. We're just gonna, all we're gonna do is catch some frogs. Are you a different? Are you a different? No. Goodbye. Uh, home condenser says the hiss is the mic itself. Not very noticeable. Yeah, it's not the worst. I just have noticed that if I'm like scrubbing around, it'll be silent and then I'll just lay like not that that's what a hiss sounds like. Catch the frog's art. I'm just gonna be rash and catch them all. Hey, give to me this. Hey, I am certain I pressed X. What? Is the game maybe glitched out? It just didn't want me to have that frog. Finale? You only get them when they're jumping in the water? They have to be like hovering out of the water for you to grab them. Hmm. 
silver fork. Oh. Good. Eh, I don't know if I ever described what happens if you catch all the frogs. You get to fight quail in a boss battle. I don't know if you get anything for it, though. You frog, like I wasn't gonna see you there. Like I wasn't gonna see you jumping like a frog does. And catch you with my little blue hands. So, I don't know, is it like every five frogs or something like that? You get something? Alright, uh, gold frog and that frog. I've had enough. <laughs> oh, Junker V is here and says, Frog, your days are numbered. Junker V, it's good that you're here for the stream because something very important is happening with your namesake. Or no, well, sorry. You're the namesake of the character. However that works, I don't know how you express that in English, but uh, you need to see something happening with Junker V. That's extremely important. <laughs> Wrench says you may get the ultimate fork if you defeat Quail. That may well be so. Exploder. That's what they call me, Charles. The Exploder. Because I explode with emotions. Not all the time. Helmet Condenser says if you catch all the frogs, you are remembered forever as a ruiner of ecosystems. Incorrect. You. It will automatically spawn a male and female tadpole. I've read too much about frogs, I know too much. Oh, those are all really good, but we need to learn and protect. Never mind, we don't. We need to learn. This. And we need to. Somehow learn high tide for him too, but I don't. Oh, that's with- okay. No, we want that for now, and we want... Sorry, I'm like having a conversation with myself that you can't hear both sides of. I'm just trying to figure this out. Mm, distract, he needs to learn. I don't like it, but I'll do it. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so she's gonna wear that, and she's gonna wear... This, and she's gonna learn Confuse, and she's gonna learn the other stuff too. And he's gonna learn all that, and apparently nothing else. So just for stats, none of that's good. What about that? Silk Robe is really good too, Thundar is good too. Might as well. Actually, might as well that, because that at least I'll be learning a new ability that way. Um, that's all fine. That. Uh, mm -hmm. I like that. And then we have a choice in fork switching. Oh, that's that's really good. That's really good. That is so very good. <laughs> Just changing some things for the upcoming, uh, thing. Okay, Mug does a little bit of damage when you steal. It's not, like, super important, but it's one of those things that you should learn. As a way of making life a little bit easier, at times. Though, typically speaking, you don't want to hurt the enemy when you're stealing from them, as they need to be alive for you to steal from them. I forget what Distract does. Okay, that's good. That's good for now. Pickle. Why do I always press ability when I mean? What, I mean, why do I always press like, equip when I mean to press ability? On your characters who don't have much HP, auto potion is good. It just kind of like removes the risk of them being a liability, I guess. Which is all fine. Counter is like. Care right now. Maybe like that would be good. I hate getting confused. I hate confusion. Um. 
<laughs> Shifty Cat says if dropping damage cat frogs on the final bosses isn't reason enough to, to do a thing, I don't know what is. I agree. It is really good to level up frog drop to insane proportions by catching frogs. Usually a lot of encounters, but now that we've got beloved Choco, that would never happen. Alright, so... That little funny riddle. So you see on one side of the screen, there are owls, and on, one si and on, on another side of the screen, they're not. But it doesn't matter. You're supposed to go by the sign to determine where you should go. But instead, we're going to go right twice, and then left twice, and then we're going to go right. Regardless of what the sign says. Okay, so we went right once. Now we're going to go right again. Now we're going to go left. <laughs> and now we're going to go left. And now we're going to go right. And shockingly, the, some speedrunner found that this way is faster than if you took the, ra the route indicated on the signs. Yep, see here it is. Just wanted to show off that quote-unquote trick. Doc Roosevelt, hello, wants to know, do they still have a stupidly easy final boss or were tweaks made to the PC version? I haven't yet discovered. I'm, I'm sort of slowly discovering the changes as I go. Um, the most amusing thing has been the start menu, which like you can go fast forward, you can go no encounters. If you look at the bottom right, you can go full trance all the time and you can do 999 damage all the time and it's not a permanent change. There are some other ones you can set in the menu that are permanent changes, but it's it's funny how they put those in, because the game is really maybe tedious, but it's not that hard. <laughs> anyway, wow, the black mages are talking, guys! They seem to have feelings. So Junker Vivi's explosively excited. Hey, would anyone build a village in the middle of a dying forest? Why does anybody do anything? So everybody runs away. So we only have two things to do. I mean, two. Haha. <laughs> things that we absolutely have to do would be like... I'm gonna do a money cheat, because I want to be able to buy auction items later on. Oh, alright, we need one of these in general. Have one... Blah, 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 blah. No, thank you though. Is there something in here that I can look at. Anyway, I'm getting off track. I'm gonna do a money cheat, or not really a cheat, but an exploit. It's the cotton robe trick, to, or excuse me, it's the cotton robe trick that I talked about a couple of streams ago, wherein the cost to synthesize and then sell a cotton robe does not exceed the cost, or it's like, it's less than Sorry, selling the robe is more expensive than... You'll get more money than uh, what you use to buy and craft it. Does that make sense? I just gave you like the worst explanation, I'm so sorry. Anyways, you sell a lot of cotton robes and you get mad money. So I'm gonna get mad money. Because I'm tired of being a slave to capitalism, I guess. What's good here? Anyway, I'm, I won't comment too much. Music house. Is there a friend in here? Is that a treasure chest? I got Virgo. Let's look at it. My only wish is to be with you now. Can you also climb this ladder? No, yes, no. I guess you can't. Hmm. 
My god, they can make art. <laughs> Wrench says, I like that the mage children made houses that look like smaller mage children. Smiley mage children. That, uh, the still at seal quest says Wrench was kind of dumb. Yeah, but you got really good items from it in money. Doc Roosevelt says, if I recall correctly, there's a mistranslation in one of the zodiacs. And Junker V says, these are the refined boys. It's true. Alright, I think I know where to go. Here, it's you. Yeah, you do. Okay, babe. Water meal. Okay, goodbye, you. Let me in the house. Are just trying to devour an innocent yet again. What's a joke? Is it scary? Pickup is mad. Where's Jungle Vivi? I don't know. Okay, bye. Pickup. Not again. The black cat synthesis shop. So you want that green teeth. And we want as many of these as we can possibly get. As we can You know what's good is a power belt. That's what we need. Extension. I heard that's good. Reflectoring. We like really need that. No, but I need to use up another one of my rings in an anklet. <sighs> Anyways, there are possibilities. I hope that you are excited. And there's also money! Hello Condenser says, I like that every mage has numbers. Yes, what a curious uh, naming stratagem. Gil. Anything else up here? I guess not. Wait, but then... Okay, not in a synthesis. Oh my god. Do not put me in this house. I did not want to go here. Actually, maybe I did. Maybe... Maybe darn it. Maybe I did. Oh, by himself. Oh god. I'll be forgetting what button be which button. We can sell one of these. If we have more than one of something, it's like whatever. <laughs> to the ogres. Right, let's, see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I want to sell cotton robe. Where is it? Five? How about all of? Look, we have so much money already. I'm drowning in money. Anything else? This teaches auto potion. These might be good to keep. Sulture. Maybe sell it. Okay, that's some money. Shifty Cat says black ha cat hype. Anyway, here's some important emotional 
growth journey. The hard-hitting questions. I already went in here, didn't I? Yes, Pickle was in here. Now she's not. Oh dear! Hey, Junkie Vivi, what's up with him? How can you guys can all talk? We became aware one day, each under different circumstances. So they, like, attain consciousness. Do you remember being born? Not really. <laughs> You can just say no, you can admit it. Maybe our lifespan is limited. Well... It's interesting, they don't seem to live very long, although that's something that will be touched on later. Okay, let's see. Um... Helen Kinnitzer wants to know, what was that horrible truth? Or was that fade deliberate? Yes, it was deliberate. Where is my friend? Where is my friend? I really have all this, like this bridge. Feral bridge. This is an inn, but we can't check you in. I just hunger. This village people eat terrible food. My god. I will rest. Alright, get ready for more plot and very romantic, interesting scene. Not really romantic, actually. I don't know why he's... I like to overuse that word. It's just a good word. Runch says the small mage child goes through a lot of shit. That's true. Doc Roosevelt asks, I forget the progression of the game after such a long time, but have you gotten past all the nonsense with the waltzes? Yeah, if you... Not that this game has discs anymore, but I'm definitely like well into disc two, if that gives you a good idea. Oh, the dance has to go to jail for another 1,000 years. I can't believe his shit. And Stock Roosevelt says the environmental design and little incidental effects are just so neat. It's a shame no game in the series has really done things like that unless they did them in games that he has not played. I agree. It's part of the reason I think this is my Final Fantasy. I think, like, maybe 7 had a little tiny bit of it, but... 
I don't know, it's just... Haha, <laughs> Shifty Cat says romantic in the sense that sentient black mages are basically a village of Frankenstein monsters. Rude boys a dunce, says Wrench. The people of this village gathered together to fuck you up. So wait, can you, speaking of little incidental details that are good, look in the bottom right corner at the bug. I always have enjoyed that bug. Let's see, Zidane says current jail sentence. How do you even say that number? Is that billion? Is that thousand million? One billion. One thousand and twenty years. Is that right? Somebody can own me if it's not. I used to dance when you said home. How about a bedtime story? Pickle is so tired of Zidance's shit. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. This is one of my favorite music tracks in the game. I know I say that all the time, but... I really like this one. So there you go. So dance gets it. Dee's vacuum in the chat says, "Yeah, I have more FF9. Thank you for coming." And Shifty Cat says, "Yeah, I think nine used the graphical limitations of the PS1 a lot better than seven in terms of style." I again, I have to agree. This is this really is my favorite of all the Final Fantasies, and I think obviously like nostalgia has something to do with that, but. I also just love the art and the music and just like all the little thoughts that went into it and the sentiment. It's just sweet and good at the same time that it's pretty dark and heavy too. A year. That's like a super short lifespan.
uh, the Yeti says, before the dialogue here, I was really sure this was a garden. Those were scarecrows. Yeah, me too. It was, or well, I thought it was like some kind of shrine or whatever, but I couldn't tell what. Uh, Shifty Cat says it manages. Final Fantasy IX manages to cover really heavy stuff without going grimdark and angsty. Yeah, I've always, I always have really liked that too. Oh no! Stop it, Twitch chat! I don't want to type. Fuck you. I want to type fuck you, but I don't want to type right now. Fuck you, chat. Twitch chat. Whee! What's up, pickle? What's up, pickle up? Someone saw a silver dragon. A fabulous silver dragon. Okay, sanctuary. Okay, Kuja. Something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can save my mom. Where's Junk of I don't fucking know. Junk of is coming with! Well. I thought Pick Up and I would get Smash Mommy Tapa. What is the dance's curtain jail sentence? Oh, it says, What you say? You know can leave me here. Uh, Doc Roosevelt asks, Have we all established that Kuja is dressed and designed pretty similarly looking to Quistus? Quistus from FF8? Disagree as fuck. <laughs> you mean Renoa, don't you? Oh no, god, where's the chat? Twitch, don't fail me now. <laughs> Helen Condenser says, so dance, have you ever been to jail? It's time to find out what that's like! Anyway. The original rude boy is the dance. So now we're gonna go back to Conde Petit. And we're gonna see, with our little eyes... What? I think I already fixed up all her stuff, but I... Mm, power belt. Uh, the dance needs that. But also needs distract, so that's going to be... Interesting. It's not like needed, I guess. I'm not sure what to do. Uh, hmm. I mean, that looks okay for now. No, Doc Roosevelt says no. He really meant Quistus. I don't. I don't. I do not agree with that. <laughs> but if you can, if you believe that's what it looks like, then I'm not gonna tell you that's wrong. Because if you have your reasons, I will respect them. You camera, please don't do this. Uh oh. Wait a second. I think I can find a friendly enemy around here. That side quest is not super important, but yeah, I want to find it. I'll just look it up in a walkthrough later. Here's Conde Petit. Hello, Condenser says in the next battle, have Pickle punch the dance into the ground. Uh, Doc Roosevelt says, here's some proof. I'm gonna go look right now and I'm gonna wipe the chat to do it. Uh, Kuja is wearing not this, <laughs> though. I would counter, hold on. Kuja, final, finally fantasy. <laughs> finally fantasy. My phone autocorrected. Copy. can't tell if you're just yanking my chain. Yeah, it's really modest by Kuja's standards. Alright. The exit leading there is guarded by a dwarf! Yeah, okay. Get ready for the best scene in the game. I should have named the dance the game. That's actually like a lot better. Oh, Gilly. I love Gilly. What about up here? <gasps> What? Oh my god! Greeter Jenny saw me! Greeter, Greeter Jenny saw me checking her out! And she said, it isn't my fault, I'm so comely. That's really good, I forgot about that. 
that gave me. Wait, I think you can pick something up in this hallway too. Hold on. Am I wrong? No, 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 no. I must have been fooled. I, that's one change again. I've said it before. I did not like that they changed that in the game where like everything is an exclamation point now. Like, and it used to be just treasure. I'm fairly sure anyways. I feel like I would have remembered something like exclamation point all the time. Get ready for something good and another really good track. Blotheration! Only those who've received the ceremony can pass. What the heck is that ceremony? Speak to his holiness. His holiness is near the inn. I don't fucking know it's a dance. Ah, there he is. David Heavengard. What are you doing hanging around in this hallway? Oh great, I just wiped chat. I'm so sorry. I have not seen anything that you've said in the chat this whole time. So, but now I can, now I can see it. Here's me typing. Hey Rick. Tradition states that only those who undergo the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. After a man and a woman are blessed in holy union, they leave on a pilgrimage to the sanctu- to the sh sanctuary. Sanctuary. It's a wedding and a honeymoon. I didn't kin your words, lad, but me thinks he understands. Oh, hey, Peckle. So, yeah. What do you think? We can go if we get hitched, but there's no way we got- well, let's do it. What? The ceremony is really only for dwarves, though. So does this mean that Pickle has to go to jail now? Or is this the jail? <laughs> is this the jail, guys? Is marriage a jail? What's happening? You're going to jail, baby! <laughs> Helmet condenser says, Pickle is doing this as ultimate punishment for Zidance, and Runch says Pickle has no taste. What? Only a guy and a girl can have the ceremony? That's... That's... prejudice. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? Get it? Don't you get it? This is marriage. M-A-R-R-I-A-G-E No kidding. But we have to do it. To go on. But that's not reason enough. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Pickle is a serious woman. What's she thinking? She's supposed to get angry and say, No way! <laughs> Hella Condenser says, Mutually assured destruction. And Junker V says, Pickle has a weed plan, and that you have to believe that she has a weed plan. She's going- is she going to nullify this by killing Zidance? Asks Helmet can answer. Well, I can- that can be arranged. Do you think that she likes to be? <laughs> Do 
Gotta admit, I was pretty deep that night in the Black Rage Village. I'm such a stud. Ew! Pickle! Now we're man and wife! <laughs> Time for it. Time for the kiss. I love this little animation. I don't think it's anywhere else in the game. <laughs> Look at this fucking... Look at it. Uh, Runch wants to know, is anyone feeling a disconnect with the Scottish sounding green men and the Japanese yo in the music? Not at all. Junker V is adding 30,000 more years to the dance's sentence. Oh god, I think that needs another 15,000 years. <laughs> okay. There's more! Yes, and hence, marriage is not just getting married. Sheesh. Oh well. Remember, we're only married while we're here. <laughs> That's what it is. This is so fleeting. What are we supposed to do? You guys trying to ruin our honeymoon? But you know can just leave us here. I'll figure something out. Why don't you guys get married too? Guys, I think that the perfect marriage is between Junker V and Art. It makes sense if you just think about it. Just, just consider it. Actually, to be fair, I should have asked Junker V in the chat if, if she consented to this, but I mean, it's art after all, come on. Okay, yeah, yeah, Junker V says yeah. Junker V says that art is my favorite wife and Dr. Doc Roosevelt says this is an affront to God. <laughs> okay, I specifically named art because you can do that scene. Because I thought it would be really funny if Junker V got married to art. Because it makes sense, of course you want- it's like you're married to your job except you're married to your passion, which is art. Oh. Happy fit. So now we're going to the sanctuary, wherever that is. Let it just be off, my darling. Oh no, a thief. My shirt's made of bubblegum. <laughs> Dog Roosevelt says Conde Petit is known as God's blind spots to the denizens of Gaia. Fuck! Fuck! We can't go any farther. Fuck! Of course, no. Yawn, two thieves are all snitching food. I'll catch them next time. Hi, guys. Thief have nerve to steal food right in front of me. What's up here? Nothing? Oh, wait. Some something. It's, it's just the exit. That you can get an item up here, and I guess that you can't though. How weird. Anyways, it's time for the next part of the game. Yay! Round of applause. All right. Uh, let me just check my notes real quick. 
Alright, I didn't know you could do this. Okay, wait, but first, but first, but first. But first, we have a new character to name. Isn't that nice? This little girl got owned. That person has no horn. He has a tail, though. <laughs> Do not eat me. It tastes bad. You heard her art. I see. Too bad. The Moogle that ran away is a very strange color. I will find it and eat it. No! Don't! Oh my god. Thanks. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. I told you I'm okay. I'm not a child, unlike that kid in blue. <laughs> Runch says there's only one- there's only room for one child in this game and Junker Vivi is it. I do have a name, you know! She is six years old, my friends. She is six years old. We're not gonna call her that. How do you like... Cucumber... Celery... Cucumbo... Cucum... Cucubom... Cucubo... Cucumby... Cucumby... What does the chat think? I want to name her Cucumbo because of the spoilers. Cause like a- cause like a- a pickle that hasn't matured is a cucumber. Cucumbor. The Destructor, says Roosevelt, and that would be really great except... Eight characters max. Oh, <gasps> Cucumbor fits! Oh wow. Look at that. Cucumba. Cucumb. Oh, Pumperum, says Shifty Cat. That actually fits- Really well, but we pump a rum, pump, pump a rum and pickle. Cucumbo always reminds me of Columbo, the 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 the, 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 the detective. But oops, come cube, come cube. <laughs> that's that's inappropriate. We can't do that. Cucumbo. I think I'm gonna go with cucumbo. <laughs> what a typo. The name is Cucumbo. Should you introduce yourself before addressing a lady? I should have named her Cucumb... Cucumbcop. No, Cucumbop. So it would be like Pickle. Cucumbop. What about you? I'm the dance. Alright. So, Miss so Miss Cucumbo, why did you steal from the village? Uh, John Gravy says Cucumbo is the hero we deserve. When I first played this game, I did not like Cucumbo. I felt that she was extremely annoying, but now I think that Cucumbo is very funny and good. Oh no, she's gonna eat Mug. Pickle, the voice of reason. I don't think Art would eat a Moogle. Do you live nearby, Cucumbo? Yeah. Why don't we take her home? Yes. Yes. Anything. For my lovely wife. I don't know if we can put Zidance in jail anymore because they're married. <laughs> Shifty Cat says, Cucumbo sounds like something a mod would name you. Yeah, it kind of does. Cucumberls. No, we are just friends. I guess that's better than nothing, is 
especially since I am going to spend a billion years in jail. I want to be your friend, too.